Okay, today we're going to give a demonstration on wash cutting the backing strip off of a CWB test plate. I'm going to use a curved tip with a flat bottom on the back side. That's good so we can rest it on the plate and get nice and tight and close for washing. And if you notice that these washing tips, they have a larger diameter orifice in them. So we're going to have to use a little bit higher on the oxyacetylene pressures for the flame to stay on instead of popping out all the time. So we're going to use about eight uh, cubic or eight psi on the acetylene and 50 on the oxygen. Light up so that our flame is not standing off of our tip. Turn our oxygen up so we get a neutral flame. Press the oxygen lever to test it. It's descending a little bit. So we turn our oxygen up a little bit more. And we're ready to go. Slowly rotate the torch up, leaving it flat on the plate. We're going to cut down through the tab off the end. Now we're going to start the wash cut. Rotate the tip a little bit. Slowly go across. It's just like cutting a piece of plate. Cut this section off. Go back and clean up a little. Watch on the bottom side to make sure you're not gouging into the plate. If you hesitate in one spot too long, you can preheat the plate underneath and you may get a chance of wash cutting into the plate. Take a big cut. Cut it off. Wrap, clean it up, washing. Washing down at the bottom side of the plate because when you rotate your tip up, if it washes down to there, you don't go any further and you will gouge into the plate. There, we'll chip our swag off to check to see if we gouged into the plate at all. No, it's nice and clean. So that's wash cutting the backing strip off of a CWB test plate.